Hey guys, um, so Aaron here. Today I want my um, well invention, but I think it's already invented yet. But I can reassure you guys, I everything you see here is built out of my own mind. I did not copy anything. Um, the inspiration came from my dad, who um, told me that uh, I should build a multiplexer. Uh, and that it could send multiple binary numbers through one line actually a lot okay um, through one line it's this line as you see here so it works just like this so you choose a set of numbers like say every other number of course you can make uh, binary numbers like 1, 2, 4, 8 and then say like 137 will this one uh, 128 and then but now I'll just you know do it with lamps every other number so what will happen is I will send it by my short pulse producer I made it myself it had I s I looked up um, a. Uh, I needed a short pulse uh, sustainer, so I built this one, which is just one block wide, making it perfect for uh, placing a lot of them next to each other. So I press on this one, I get a short pulse, and then you know, okay, as you see, you see. Um, the activated redstone of the numbers I chose, and every time I um, every time I activate it, this these pistons will just rapidly go down and up again. So a short pulse can go through, but the pistons are um, are delayed. So the first one, then the second one, third one, fourth one. They're not all at the same time. So this one, first time, first signal can leave, then second signal, and at the other side, the exact opposite happens. So first you have this one, and then this one, this this one. So just as the signal, lost signal, this one, which isn't activated now because I didn't choose it, but if it would just at the moment. As you see, so every moment, at the moment that that signal comes here, the piston rapidly goes down and up. So no other signal could get in. Then you just have a quick RS Norlatch. I could also do it with D flip flops, but I chose for RS Norlatches. And as you see, I made myself a oh, hole in there. I made a uh, some pixel art so it's quite clear where uh, the inbox and the outbox is I hope you guys like it so now I'll show you how it works so I'll just I chose my numbers so every other block I activate it and I'll just fire it and as you see one line this is the proof one line and I sent I was able to send eight numbers as you see I have to look this way they're not uh, like symmetrical it's just left one left no left yes no yes no yes no as you see it is the exact same number so I so you could send huge numbers with this one I can send from 0 to 255 so let's say you want so I'll re reset it firstly so reset it so let's say I want to um, send to my friend that I uh, that I collected 147 eggs so uh, let's see 147 so this is 128 147 so I'll then activate 16 
one two three one two four eight sixteen is the fifth number yeah so one hundred twenty eight and sixteen is one hundred thirty eight is one hundred forty four I'm sorry I'm not that good at math one hundred forty four and we want one hundred forty seven so one hundred forty four one hundred forty six one hundred and forty seven I think I said 147. So we have, so here we have it. I want to send to my friend. I collected, uh, let's say, uh, 147 eggs at my egg farm. Of course, it's a stupid idea, but you can. These are eight digits, but you can easily put more of them in here. You could like uh, make a row, perhaps with uh, 32 digits, which allows you to almost go to hundred thousand maybe a million I don't know so I'll send 147 my friend over here receives it and he can immediately see how much eggs I collected of course this is just a stupid example you can do lots and lots of things with it and of course you can make the distance between this immense you can make this like oh perhaps like five miles but then you'll have to keep it rendered but yeah and for those of you who are wondering what this is this is just a small invention of mine uh, 4 bit ALU connected to a decoder that allows me to convert binary to hexa hexadecimal system As you see now you have if f so yeah um perhaps I'll do a review on it but it's not finished yet so and then I also have this small multiplexer uh yeah this small other multiplexer it is a well it, it just allows you to shoot to choose between two inputs like uh, input A but I can choose for input B you see and now I can have input B it just I, I put it on Minecraft wiki because it's a little bit smaller than the than the usual version as you see just look it up Minecraft wiki um, the uh, multiplexer and you'll see I wrote an article on it so yeah that was it my uh, one line transmitter multiplexer I hope you enjoyed it and um, thank you for watching